Hello, this is Reza from Radicad, and in this video, I'm talking about a, a date relative date slicer that you can have in Power BI service that works with your local time zone. Because uh, when you publish your Power BI report in the service and your time zone is different from UTC uh, time zone, you'll see a little bit different behavior. Let's see how you can get this working. Um, back in 2017, almost three years ago from uh, the time right now, I wrote a blog article about the time zone uh, configuration in the Power BI website, uh, which I'm explaining that briefly here and then explaining what is the problem and how you can solve it. Let's say I have a... Um, I have a measure here in my Power BI report, which is showing me the time just right now. So this is using the DAX now function. And when I use it in Power BI local, it is showing me just the local time, uh, which is correct. I, if I refresh it, it would be exactly the time right now. Uh, but when I publish it into the service, the problem with that is that in the service, uh, let me go to my report, yep, here it is. In the service, you can see that this time in the service would be different from the time that I have locally. Now, again, this is uh, refreshed a long time ago. Uh, I'll hit a refresh just right now, and you can compare it these two. So my local time is 6.32 p.m., uh, 11th of May, and the server time is 11th of May, but 6.32 a.m., right? Uh, because I'm in New Zealand and the time difference is 12 hours for me to UTC right now. And this means that, for example, if um, it is uh, 6 a.m. for me or 9 a.m. for me in 12th of May, this would be still 11th of May, 9 p.m. Right. So it's not just about the time, it's also about the date as well, like 9 a.m. of a Monday, um, Power BI service consider it as 9 p.m. of uh, Sunday for me, right? Which is not ideal, especially if I have relative data slicer. It's a type of slicer that you can uh, have and compare uh, your data and uh, or slice and dice your data and say, show me today's date, yesterday's, things like that. And if the today's date is not accurate for my local time zone, everything else would be uh, inaccurate as well. Like for example, if I say, show me yesterday's data, yesterday might be two days ago or it might be today, right? So it, it won't be really reliable. So what is the solution? Um, in that blog article that I explained all the uh, methods, I explained three different methods. One was the DAX formula that you add a couple of um, like time zone, um, like hours into uh, now, and you get it working. Another method was power query time zone functions. And the third method was a web query, which I explained that you can use an API and get uh, a web query from there, which is explained in details here. I'm not going to explain that method, but that method basically used a query like this. Uh, and you need to register for that API. It's a free API. You can register for it. You get the key and you use it in a simple expression like that. It will give you the local time. And I have it already here, right? This one, which you can see it, is coming from that API. And if I use it in a, uh, in a simple card visual, changing it to card visual, if I accept to change to card visual. So let me do it again. Card visual and selecting this for that. This would work just fine in my local. And if I publish it to the service, it would be similar to what you have seen already here, that in the service, this would be also fine. Now I haven't refreshed the data set because this is coming from the data set. I have to refresh the data set as well. This is a power query, so it works with the data set refresh and then refresh here, right? So you see that even in the website, this shows 6.35 p.m., which is my local 
time, right? So this method is good for getting today's date, but then how you get the relative date slicer working with this? For that method, I have written another blog article that explained you can create offset uh, columns for your date table. And offset columns would create experience like this, that you have an offset column for day, quarter, month, year, and you can choose how many years back, forward, or quarter, or month, or days you want to go back and forth. For that, you need to have a date table, which I explained in uh, full details that this is a date table, how you can create it, the whole script is there, right? Uh, now, the trick is that in that date table, if you use in that date table, one of the uh, criteria of that date table is it considers today's date and calculate offset columns based on that today's date. Now, if that today's date comes from the web API call, which again, I copied that entire script down in the description below um, through my uh, blog article link. If you use that, then you can have these working as a, uh, as a slicer like this. So I have my current uh, local date and time and I have these uh, relative slicers and everything works just perfectly fine in the local, in the Power BI service, wherever I use it. All of these scripts and uh, related articles and their links can be found from the blog article down in the description below. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI.